Is this the Best Buy of Japan? Hey guys, how's it going? As you can see right behind me is a Japanese electronics store, most similar to probably Best Buy. So I'm gonna go ahead today and tour this electronics store, see what they sell that's different, what they sell that's the same, maybe different brands, whatever. Let's just check out this electronics store. So they do have standalone stores. This one specifically, Besto Denki, happens to be in like a mall thing. So right as we walk in, just cute stuff. These are toothbrushes and this is a Pokemon toothbrush. That is so adorable. Leave it to Japan to make things Pokemon. So this is what a Japanese refrigerator looks like. So Japanese refrigerators have a bunch of drawers. So there's one freezer drawer, there's another freezer drawer, and then there's smaller drawers here. And then this opens up halfway, and then this is the other half. They're all designed this way, every single one of them. For some reason, these portable vacuums are super popular in Japan. Vacuums are battery powered. Every single one. Oh, they do have regular vacuums though over here. Yeah guys, here's some regular vacuums. So these, nope, wait, they're still battery powered. So vacuums here, I think the standard is to have this little tiny thing with the hose and this. I don't think they have any vacuums that are just the whole thing in one like America. No electronic store would be complete without massagers. You know what I'm saying, guys? That looks like a weapon. Here's hair dryers. I bet these things blow. Of course, rice cookers. Gotta have your rice in Asia. Japan actually doesn't have regular ovens, so this is really all you get is a toaster oven. You're not cooking any Thanksgiving turkey here. Actually, they don't celebrate Thanksgiving in Japan because they were already founded, I guess. She's in the massage chairs. <laughs> oh boy, leaning back. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's shaking me I'm in weird places. Wow, this is a really good massage chair. So this is like a standard stove. Here's something interesting. They have bread makers. Look at that. So lots of hot water pots. Actually, these things are amazing. Uh, keeps your water hot and you could set it as a temperature. And then when you want like something like top ramen or tea or something that you just add hot water to, you just put it under here and it dispenses. You don't have to cook it. You don't have to wait for it to stop or whatever. It just pour water in, press the temperature you want, and then it just stays hot and dispenses hot water all the time. It's awesome. What? What is this? This is a noodle maker. A noodle maker. I don't know what the, oh, this is like a milk thing. I don't know what any of these things are, guys. These are kind of interesting. Instead of a blender, you just leave your stuff in a cup and press it down and it blends it. All right, so on to the, oh, by the way, there's coffee makers here as well. So on to the more computer stuff, electronic stuff. So here, it's the beginning of 2020 and this is the computers that they have, Lenovo's, Dell's American brands, look at that. Interesting. Fujitsu is a really big computer brand here. And uh, from what I understand, they're not that great. Dynabook, this is a popular brand here too. I don't know if they're any good. I don't really know too much about these brands. We got the Microsoft Surface, Surface Pro. This side we have NEC makes laptops. Dell, actually that's a really nice Dell, it's solid bunch of NEC. These are all NEC. Calculators. They, we used to have a lot of these in America. These are like, I think they're spelling things. They help you spell words correctly. I feel like your phone can do that. Maybe that's not what they are at all. I'm not sure. So Blu-ray players are still super popular in Japan. I don't know what it is. Japanese people love collecting stuff. So I think maybe they just like collecting Blu-rays. I think also it makes the companies more money. I know Blu-ray is, in my opinion, pretty much obsolete in America. In fact, I remember when it came out. I thought it was obsolete when it came out in like 2006. I was actually surprised that they even came out with another format at that time. I figured 
by that time they'd be streaming and stuff. But I guess a lot of people didn't have fast internet connections and stuff by then. So now, on to the electronic TVs. Japanese TVs. We have Panasonic as a brand. Toshiba Sharp Mitsubishi with a built-in VHS player? What? No, it's not a VHS player. There's a Sony, Panasonic, Panasonic, Sharp. Oh, here's some more. All right, guys, they actually still sell like music MP3 players. And this one's actually really nice. This is that Sony one that's super nice. It looks really nice, actually. It has a headphone jack. The build quality on this is like solid. Japan's official ovens. This is what you see normally in a household. Let me see. There's a bunch of them here, but let me show you. This thing, there's two burners on top just for your stove top. And they're gas powered. And then this is your oven. Usually it's this small because it's only meant to cook fish. That's typically the only thing you end up baking in Japan. That is pretty much a Japanese oven. Cute everything is here. So these toilets in Japan, they all have bidets, which is amazing. This one too actually has a sink built in. It fills up the tank with the water, except the water first comes out of here. That way you can rinse off your hands after you're done peeing. It's really cool. Here's sample bathrooms. Look at tell you take your shoes off, go in there, check it out. And then there's this one. Very cool, very cool, huh. So that's it guys, that's Besto Genki, I think. And that is an electronic store and Besto Genki is probably the most similar one to Best Buy. There's other electronic stores, but I mean this one has best in the name. I mean, come on, how close can you get? So guys, if you wanna know more about Japan, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and follow me because I'm gonna be doing all kinds of content on the differences between Japan and America and just all kinds of cool things that Japan has to offer. This place is amazing. And my camera's picking up this dude as the face focus. But anyway guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.